My name is Ruhi Meknojia. I am an artist. I work with work in installation art, painting, uh, sculpture, and printmaking. I also work in an, with animation videos. I grew up in Spring, Texas. My mom is from Pakistan. My dad is from India. So I attended the University of Texas at Austin for my bachelor's and there I studied Middle Eastern studies and I also studied visual arts. Uh, I later um, attended Columbia University where I received my master's of fine arts in visual arts. I decided to be an artist uh, shortly after I believe like certain life experiences and I felt very overwhelmed by what was happening in the world with politics and violence and war and I wasn't quite sure how to make sense of that world and I also felt like these things were eating away on inside of me, eating away my spirit and my happiness and so art became the vehicle to kind of make sense of the world and also really think about the things that um, are bothering me? What are the worldly matters that are affecting my inner self and my emotions? And so that's really what the starting point for the art making process for me. I first discovered I wanted to like start making work and really work at this is when I um, realized a lot of people around me were dying and it just didn't make sense to me. It felt like senseless violence and acts of violence that were causing death. And so I wanted to use art not only as a vehicle of therapy for myself, but also a, a way to start a conversation in a way that's a bit easier, softer. So I was hearing a lot of news from both the US and um, India and Pakistan, not only that, but news from East Africa or West Africa. There was a lot going on in Europe with um, and the crisis in Syria. And I was also thinking about the war in Afghanistan, the war in Iraq that was coming to an end at the time. There was also just many different things, whether it be economics or even values, what were the values that people were holding at the time. And these were things that were all affecting like that sense of what's happening in the world. Some of the most important issues I want to communicate through art is this balance between worldly issues and the interior spiritual issues or even the emotional aspects. So what I want to show people is that everything that's happening outside in the world, it's happening out there. And yes, it does affect our lives. There are moments where violence might affect us as regular human beings, or violence might be affecting others, and that's eating away at our sense of values and moral compass. But at the same time, I feel like it's so important to take the time to really think about what are, what's happening and how is it affecting our emotions and really take the time out for that. And I want my art to be able to communicate this idea of the external and the internal. So I um, often talk about the metaphor of Persian gardens because in um, Iranian history, there is this philosophy and idea that the garden is surrounded around four walls and inside the four walls is paradise on earth. People have created this beautiful space and everything outside of the garden is the wretched, it's the chaos and the chaos cannot penetrate into the garden. And I try to use the same idea in my work where I'm thinking about the chaos happening outside of my body, outside of my life, and tr these things are trying to penetrate into this perfect sanctuary, this perfect meditative space, and it's co this constant battle, this constant battle to you know, create that perfect space and at the same time be aware of what's happening outside around me. Currently, I am working on a um, publication project 
and it's a project with a lot of different drawings and it's a very new project so I don't want to reveal too much but it again taps into this idea of esoteric and exoteric and that val this idea of balance. My dream project would be to really um, expand. I really want to be able to work in this giant warehouse where the warehouse would be the structure that embodies the interior and everything outside of that space would be the exterior. Um, I don't know how feasible such a project will be. It's a matter of finding the right space and having the right amount of time and money to be able to do that. If I was to be talking to students, I would advise them to really dive into their interest um, if, and also read a lot, learn about what's happening outside in the world, like if they have an interest in politics, to be aware of not just the politician and the citizens, but also what are the policies that are being made and what are those, how do those things affect other people's lives and how can that be communicated through the visual arts. Um, yeah, like I think my biggest advice to students is really enjoy what you're doing and if you're not enjoying it, it's time to take a different like route within the arts and try to find that voice and space.